All right, guys. I, uh, so I was going to show y'all how to get this uh, working with the ALS system. And this is how it works right here. So it speeds up a little bit going down, slows down a little bit going up. You can adjust that by adjusting the curve values if you want it to be slower. And it even slows down when she's running. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you all how to integrate that system into the LS. So if you go over here to the Advanced Locomotion System Character Assets Mannequin Skeleton, you just open up the ALS NMBP right here. And what we'll do is uh, we're going to come over here on the right and go to Update Graph and just double click it. It'll bring you over here to the Update Animation. And uh, what we're going to do is where we use Delta Time on the other one, uh, we're going to use this variable instead. And right after this little blue thing here, you're just going to drop in your update uh, movement after you've copied and uh, pasted everything over. Under can move, the only thing we're doing differently here is we're getting the, the character reference. So if you right click and get character, you'll see the character reference right there. And then we're getting the character movement off of that and checking if it's following and getting the velocity. And uh, let me just move this over a little bit so you can see better. So if we go back over here, we come over here to the get movement angle. And over here where we were getting the actor location, now we're just getting another reference to the character. We're getting the actor location. Uh, we're getting the character, character movement right here where we're getting the velocity and the max walk speed. And again, character and get actor location right here where we're adding it. Uh, I forgot to plug that back in, but it won't it won't have an effect on it. So over here, I made an ALS reference to the base class, and I'm setting the velocity direction here. So you might be wondering why I didn't do this inside of uh, the ALS base class. Well, I did try doing it inside the ALS base class, as you can see, and it actually didn't work because it was uh, setting the character speed for the character movement of the base class apparently and not the actual child that was using it. So I don't know why that's the case. If anybody else knows, uh, please enlighten me because I have no clue why it doesn't work on the base class. So moving on, under set movement speed, same exact thing except right here we're getting the character reference, character movement, and then the max walk speed for the current. And then right here we're doing the same thing, character, character movement, set, max walk speed. And I just uh, did this for uh, debugging purposes so I could debug it specifically for the character that I wanted and not all of them at once. So. If you have any uh, trouble uh, getting this set up with ALS, uh, let me know. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just uh, you go to uh, where you have it set up at. For example, if it were here, and you right click and you copy, and then you right click and you paste. Uh, let me go ahead and do that so you can actually see. Copy, and then paste variable not local, the just regular paste variable. And you do the same thing for the functions. And don't compile it until after you've done it. And then you'll get errors. That'll be okay. It's just going to let you know that you need to replace this stuff with uh, the character reference version of it. And that's pretty much there is all there is to it. So uh, if this was helpful, uh, like down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.